Welcome to Uncork Your Mind. In today's episode, we're going to talk all about Chamborsin. Chamborsin is a French-American hybrid grape that grows really well in the Northeast. And I'm going to tell you all about it and how I fell in love with it back in October. Welcome to Uncork Your Mind, where we take the intimidation out of wine with your host, Debbie Giaquindo, the Hudson Valley wine goddess. Okay, welcome to Uncork Your Mind. Now we're going to talk a little bit about Chamborsin. And I have to tell you, Chamborsin is not a grape that you hear a lot about in your daily wine conversation. It's not like you're talking about and you hear about Cabernet Sauvignon, Cap Franc, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc. But Chamborsin has been growing in the Hudson Valley for, for, for many years. And I was first introduced to it in the Hudson Valley. And honestly, I really wasn't too huge of a fan. But all that changed when I took this wine media tour of the New Jersey wineries back in October. Now, let me tell you a little bit about Chamborsin. It's a French-American hybrid grape. It's a cross between a European and an American grape. The grape was created in France by Johannes Save in the early 1960s. And the exact parentage isn't really known, but it's resistant to uh, fungus and especially downy mildew. And it grows really well in cool climate. So it's great for the Northeast. And um, also the Midwest, you'll find some Chamborsin. And believe it or not, it's also down in Australia in New South Wales. Um, and there is a little bit of it in um, its native France in the Loire Valley. And um, Chamborsin is a parent, and it is the parent to a new disease-resistant grape called Regent that is grown in Germany, Switzerland, and the Okanagan Valley in British Columbia. So a little bit about the profile of the grape. So it's a deep color red wine. Think of... Um, like the Fruit of the Loom grape. Um, and you'll find some herbaceous notes on it, um, some red fruit, some black cherry, uh, some black pepper. Um, it's big on tannins and acidity. So on my whirlwind tour of the New Jersey wineries, I tasted uh, four wines from the wineries that we visited made from the Chamborsin grape. And I have to tell you, this really changed my mind on the wine, on the grape. I really saw what the grape can achieve. And in my travels, I did come home with two bottles. And I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the uh, four wines that I tasted. And um, I hope that if you're out wine tasting and you come across a uh, wine made with a Chamborsin grape, or even if Chamborsin is used in the blend, please taste it. You really, you're, you're going to be surprised because these four wines knock my socks off. So the first wine was at Sharrett Winery. It was a 2019 Chamborsin. It retails for $25.99. It's 100% Chamborsin and it spent 10 months in American oak. It's made similar to a Cabernet Sauvignon. That's how the winemaker described it. It's 100% malolactic fermentation. It's smooth and silky on the palate, lots of red berries, and my note said this is really nice. So it was really nice because I did come home with the bottle. And then we moved on to the 2017 Bellevue Winery Chamborsin. This one was only $18. And it was a silver medal winner in the 2020 San Francisco Chronicle Wine Competition. And that's a pretty prestigious wine competition. Um, it's 100% Chamborsin with 18 months in American oak. This wine had high acidity. It was a fruity red nose, nice raspberry, soft baking spices on the finish, and love. That's what it said in my notes, love. So I love that. And I came home with a bottle of that one, too. Uh, then we went to uh, William Heritage Winery, the 2019 Burn Pile Vineyard Chamborsin. That one retails for $45. Now this vineyard, the Burn Pile Vineyard, is next to an old burn pile that was used to burn brush from 
uh, pruning the fruit trees. And the soil has a lot of ash and is very carbon rich. And this wine is aged in French oak with 15% of the French oak being new. The nose um, aromas had figs and dates and blackberries on it. It had a palate full of blackberry and black raspberry. It was silky and it had some prune on the finish. And there was only 275 cases of this wine made. Get it. Those are exactly what my notes said. And then we had the White Horse 2018 Estate Chamborson. This retailed for $19. This had beautiful aromas of pomegranate, plum, and a palette of blackberry, blackberry, black cherry, soft and silky with baking spices on the finish. And I have to tell you, I thoroughly enjoyed all four of these wines. And after spending a week exploring the New Jersey wineries, I've really become a Chamborson lover. And I hope you will too. So that pretty much just wraps up my little uh, let's talk about Chamborson and how I fell in love with it. And please let me know your thoughts on Chamborson when you get out and you try some. Well, I hope I turned you on to a new grape varietal. Um, I hope you seek out some Chamborson and taste it and let me know what you think. I'm Debbie Giaquindo. I'm the Hudson Valley Wine Goddess. And you can find me at HudsonValleyWineGoddess.com. I'm on Facebook, Hudson Valley Wine Goddess. Instagram and Twitter. I'm on HV Wine Goddess. And please, if you'd be so kind and leave me a nice review on whatever podcast uh, system you're listening to me on. And I'll catch you next week. Have a great one. Cheers.